Welcome to Northern Seoul and I'm going to show you how to turn a basic window that's looking at a fence or maybe the street or somewhere where you need a bit more privacy into something like this. That's right, a little bit of a window covering, do it yourself and quite inexpensive. So you get a bit of privacy, it looks pretty cool, throws Awesome colors everywhere. Rainbows, man. That's a double rainbow. What does it mean? I'm going to show you how to do it because I'm going to do a door with a big window in it um, and show you that it's not that hard to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Now, there's different sort of these are like vinyl coverings that are cut to size, and you just got to, you just need to like, well, I'll show you what you need to do it yourself. But it takes me about 10 minutes. Now that I said that, it's probably going to, a bunch of things are probably going to go wrong and take me longer, but. Yeah, it's a normal side window. This one's facing the street. Uh, this one's got like sort of a natural stone or like a pebble sort of look to it. And it really does have the look like uh, the glass is etched that way or something, but it's just a covering. And there's no glue or any stinky stuff or, uh, you know, those horrible sprays where it's just uh, kill you with like toxins and stuff like that. You need fans, you have to have the windows open in the house for like two days to get rid of the smell. It's really nasty stuff. This stuff's not like that. It's um, just basically a vinyl film that has um, uh, uses static cling, basically. So static is your friend in this case, not for your pants, but definitely in this case. And I'll show you how to do it. And it's pretty simple. And uh, as you can see, if you go up, you can kind of see, if I go really close, you can start to see through it a little bit and there's like little parts of it that diffuse the light and then some of them are actually iridescent in it which throws gives it that rainbow effect but as i back up it kind of really pixelates the view so you just have like shapes and colors but you don't have to worry about people like <laughs> having that weird sort of eye contact because you have a, a you know a window. I would never used to use this window because of, it was just clear glass and anybody could just look in and see your whole living room or whatever in this case. Or if you have a bathroom or anything where you want some privacy but don't. Uh, this you used to have the blinds down, closed all the time uh, because it just looked onto a street, people walking by. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this effect yourself. Here's also another uh, different one that I was trying testing out here. This sort of has, has a stained glass effect to it. I'm not as happy with this one. It seems to be a bit more see-through or transparent than, uh, than I'd like. As you can, you can kind of make out, you can see you can kind of make it more. It just breaks it up. Throws nice colors, makes it super cool, but I'm probably going to replace this one with that pebble effect. It looked better in the in the photos when I was ordering it than uh, what it turned out, but not bad. Maybe you want this sort of effect on your window. It does look like it's the actual windows like that, but um, not enough privacy for me. So it does depend which one you get. You'll have a different effect on it as well. And then over here in the front, this is just a straight frosting which you can also get this happens to be the old spray can thing and it was such an awful experience just the the fumes and everything like that that's like oh man i hope i don't have to do this again so i tried doing the film and this can be taken off anytime because it's like yeah just held on by static so it just it's clinging on to the window itself and you can remove it there's no glue involved at all and reapply or whatever. So you can change things up if you want seasonal or, you know, if you want, you want to use the window and have it clear, you can do that. So that's kind of nice. All right. So here's the stuff you're going to need in, to actually do this at home and paper towels. always good for cleaning. So we got to clean the window, the surface first. Uh, I decided to use, um, for just to get it clean in the first place, uh, vinegar water. You can use other stuff, I imagine, but that's what I used and it worked out fine. Um, you're going to also need um, soapy water. So I just added a little bit of, uh, would be dish soap and, and then some water. And that's to help it cling to the, the door and then you can squeeze out the air pockets easier uh, by utilizing that. And I'll show that soon. 
and also your actual film, your product here. So this one happens to be, uh, I think it says 60 centimeters by 200 centimeters. So it came, this one came in a tube. Uh, see my dogs like puking or whatever, making great noises. And then there's some that come in a box like this. This is what I ordered. So I got these off uh, Amazon. They're fairly inexpensive. Uh, talking like uh, $25 for a larger one for a whole roll. Uh, so this is the one that would be similar to uh, the one you've seen in the first list. So this is like the pebble one. And that's what's going to go up in the door that you're going to see momentarily. You're also going to need an X-Acto knife or something very sharp in order to trim the edges so that you can get that correct fit because this is going to be too wide for the window. So I'm going to get I'm going to put one edge on the top and the other edge on the side and then I'll, tr I'll trim the fit as well. Also a good thing to have is some uh, scissors for just trimming off the bulk of it. So if it's like really long, you want to trim off the weight, just trim off close enough and then you do the detailed work with uh, <laughs> Dexter, you're going to be all right, with um, your X-Acto knife. And don't forget, you're going to need something to drink. So I got sugary you know, carbonated soda. <laughs> not gonna, I'm not gonna shout out to who, what I'm drinking. Anyways, get your favorite beverage. That'll help you for those tense moments where you start dropping stuff or things aren't, the film's not coming off. It's actually a, a secret. Uh, well, I might as well get into it uh, momentarily. See you in the next segment. All right, so, so far so bad. <laughs> as I'm uh, unwrapping this roll here, found out when it was, they put this sticker on and it's like so old. I guess it was just sticking so crazy. Look, look at that. It's one of those things where you can't get the glue off and part of the sticker remains when you're pulling it off. So I'm um, probably gonna, I can't be asked to do, to rip that sticker off and clean it. So I'm gonna end up losing a couple inch, what is that, six inches or so of this, uh, of this film here. To that, I'll just have to cut it. So hopefully I won't need it, and um, because that that'll be end up being the bottom. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna unroll this here and just see what how it measures out. Dexter, look out! Get out of the way! Look out, old man! There you go. Okay, so it looks like I've got plenty, because this is probably as long as a normal door. Ugh. Okay, so it's. It's the length of a normal sized door, this one here. So that's good, because I only need part of that. Thankfully, I won't have to deal with the uh, old sticker, because that's annoying. So I'm going to try to I'm gonna clean it first, but it's going to basically stick on like that. Put the edge to edge, put that corner in that corner. I don't know if you, you can even see it, and then I'll just trim the excess on the sides. Now, there is a very small film. Oh, that was good. There's a small film on the other side, which I'll have to very carefully try to separate. And then it'll, you'll have all the static, like it's definitely apparent, it's static cling after that. So uh, hopefully I'll have to edit this out if it's like really long, but I gotta clean the window first. So let's get started. First step cleaning. Vinegar water. Because this thing needed a cleaning before, <laughs> before I decided to uh, put this on, that's for sure. Oh, it smells so good! It's almost like you need some uh, fish and chips time or something like that. Now, of course, I put the uh, plastic uh, film on the ground so then it can collect dog fur, in my case all over it and contaminate it and make it dumb because I was obviously not planning ahead there. So I'm predicting that there's going to be stuff for me to have to take off or clean because of I wasn't thinking straight because I'm still excited to do videos. There. Step one. Done. Can have lots of fun. Now, step two, now what's probably going to happen is I'm going to find the... 
I'm going to split that film, or at least get it started, because that's the hard part. You can imagine how enthralling is this. Oh, I got lucky. It's right there. Wow. So it is there, and you're going to want to take, you'll feel the, uh, the little, um, the texture on one side. The texture is the side facing out from the window, and obviously the side that's smooth will face with the film will, will face on the inside. So good, I found that. I'm just going to crimp it here so I can find it easier the second time. And now I'm going to use the soap and water. Doing it in real time, you're going to see how fast or slow this whole thing actually is. Give it a little bit of shake, soapy water for day. And then we're just going to spritz it on there. You don't want too much, just enough to be able to get rid of the air pockets. And because gravity is going to help get it really wet down, eh, that's enough. So just enough to pretty much fully coat that window, make that window wet. And that's it. Voila. Step two, I want to say step two. Now to find my friend. There we go. So I've got that. It's probably hard to see because it's very transparent. But as soon as you take that off, that backing becomes extreme. Like it'll stick back onto itself pretty much. And taking this backing can be annoying to take off because it's getting like crinkled and gets stuck on itself. Like that. So I try to keep it as straight as possible, which is hard to do by yourself. Sorry about that. If that's really annoying, I apologize. Come on. That's like doing all weird stuff on the ground, dancing. Okay, here we go. Sticking to itself, it's so good. All right, now we're gonna put it on. And the dampness, so I find a corner that I like. So maybe I'll, should we shove it in that corner? Let's be different. I'm gonna shove it in the other corner. That doesn't sound good, but um, I'm gonna do it the opposite way this time. So there we go. Probably can't see this, but I'm pointing the corner of the plastic to the corner of the window. Nice and straight. So I want to start pushing it on, spreading it around. Try to match up the edges together. And start kind of pushing the plastic so it's touching the window to get the static working. Because I need, I can't hold the whole thing, so I'm going to get it to do the holding for me. Now this edge is going to be a bit of a problem, the one with all the, the weight, the, the extra material, because it's weight, it's not actually clinging on to anything. So that's working against me. I want to like pull a little bit, so there's some gaps and I'm trying to get it to spread out. So I can already start some of the process of getting the major air bubbles out. Like that, like that, and just keep going. Once you get it started, you're pretty good. Oh, it's going to be like that. This, this, this is a big window. That's the problem. So I might need to... Should I indulge in the tape? I'm not sure. Doing this live. No, I'm not a professional vinyl window installer. I'm just like normal people. Learn from my mistakes. What are you doing? You're starting to cut off. I got a message. I feel like I need to put tape on there. Maybe I will uh, employ my feet. If we come from monkeys, we might as well utilize our monkeyness with our feet and stuff. That looks pretty good. Now, yeah, maybe it needed some more soap and water. That might have been uh, part of the problem. To, to add. Maybe I added too much. I'm, I'm not really sure. All I know is it's there's kind of a fine line. So it's sticking pretty good on there. Oh, by the way, you're also going to need a credit card or something like that, some sort of edge. 
to help push the bubbles out. Do not employ children for this because number one, it's illegal to use children for labor. Uh, okay, so let's start, I'm gonna start trimming. So up there, I'm just picking an edge, I'm gonna push it and then I'm just gonna use the X-Acto knife from top to bottom, right in the corner. And if it's really sharp, for God's sakes, invest in a new blade if you have to, to make this process easy. Don't use an old rusty blade, it's like, make it as easy as possible on yourself. Right. So far so good now, because it's super sharp. Oh, that air bubble is going to ruin stuff. I'm gonna redo my cut, because it's, it's not gonna be exact. It's not gonna be an exact with an exacto knife. Hmm. The irony of that. Let's try try this again. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, there we go. New cut. New cut. Oops. Yeah, whenever you hear oops, it's usually not a good sign. Thankfully though, it's not too expensive. If you do like screw up really badly. You can probably just get a new one. Ow! Do not stab yourself. Exacto stab. Now I just got the bottom bit. You probably can't, I, I doubt you can see this. It would be a miracle if you could. But same idea, find an edge, cut it. Exacto cut that edge. Oops. There, kind of, yes. Okay, I'm, uh, it's funny that, I think it's just the nervousness of uh, getting it horribly wrong. So I'm gonna do some of the work here, just looking for the edges, making it look, pushing any of the parts you can see that are just clear glass, and just push the vinyl into it, and also take out any large, I did a pretty good job initially to knock out the, uh, the air bubbles. So it's, I think it's pretty good, it's not, there's a little edge, I didn't trim it quite. But it might be okay, it might still be okay, as long as people don't scrutinize. So just don't bring your parents over, you should be okay. Don't bring any people that have real window etchings over, because then they'll be like, oh man, yeah, but it'll never be better than a real etching because that's what I got and I'm obviously better than you. You know why I'm bringing this up, but. If you have friends like that, um, don't be friends with people like that. Oh, you can do whatever you want. Some people like friends like that. Anyways, so pretty good, I have to say. I'm pretty happy with that since I'm, I mean, I'm not like a professional or anything. Well, I am a professional or something, but not this. Okay, so pretty simple. Then you get like a credit card. I'm not using a credit card, I'm using Air Miles because it's through Air Miles. That's why I'm afraid to ruin my card. So I'm just gonna push and you just push the excess soapy water out the sides. I just go back and forth like that. And if it's, you got a good angle on it stuff, you're not gonna scratch the vinyl. I wouldn't do this all day, because that's all you need is like just these little tiny scratch marks all over the plastic. And I know I'm going out of shot right now, but it's uh, it's it's more of the same, basically. Oh, that's a big bubble. I'm I'm rushing because I want to get to the money shot here, but uh, I shouldn't be doing that. There's a big dirty bubble. So you just guide it. Guide it to the end. Guide it to the end, man. Sometimes you gotta push pretty firmly down on the card. I'm not sure if I got too much. I'll push it down, maybe. <laughs> just 
pretend it's like your second date. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't ask. Bear with me. Yeah. Okay. I wish I was doing like a cooking show. This would be better. This is the part where I tell you like a joke, like a really bad joke. That's like old school cooking shows. Walk with you in anybody? Probably not. But I like it, yeah, there's no fumes or anything. Done pretty quickly. And I got a little bit of an extra edge at the bottom. I'm gonna cut off my super sharp exacto knife. -o. Oh, come on. I'd uh, show you with the camera, but I can't because I don't have. If I was an octopus. Ow! Don't stab yourself with the X Acto knife. Because this chisel is sharp. I'll just use the old. Uh, <laughs> Just use the cleaner on, on my hands. Anyways, there it is. And you just let it dry or whatever. I don't even know. It's you say there's no step after that. I'm just feeling for any air bubbles, and then you'll see like a wave pattern happen if you push it, and you'll see if there's any bubbles. I think I got it all. I think it looks pretty good. You can always check on the opposite side as well, and that will dry off and look pretty good. So let's take a look at that finished product. So I'll bring it closer. You see, just cut the edging off. Not a big deal. All the way down to the bottom. <laughs> Don't mind the dirt. Actually, it's like dog scratches, like paws. Clean that. Oh, it is dirt. Okay. It's not dirt, it's scratches. Anyways, that's it. So you've seen it prior. And if I step back a bit, you can see that the privacy is a lot better now. But it still lets light through, so you don't have like a dark, dingy whatever. You're on camera, you bastards. That's it. That's all there is to it. And then you go kick back and enjoy. All right, talk to you later.